There may not be a ton of blockbusters or superhero flicks on tap for February, but there are still more than enough great movies to keep you busy at your local theater. From future award season fodder to animated comedies, and a few mid-tier franchise sequels, here are all the movies worth checking out on the big screen in February 2017. Rings it's been about a decade since that wet weirdo climbed out of a TV and killed a bunch of people. And in the years since, that freaky VHS tape is looking to make the transition into the digital age. The long-awaited sequel Rings comes out on February 3rd and picks up about 13 years after the first film. It follows a woman and her boyfriend who get roped into the freaky drama of the horrific tape, and it also aims to deepen the mythology with a secret message hidden inside the tape that no one has found until now. The second it's over the phone rings and this boy says the film also features the tagline first you watch it then you die so good luck with that the space between us there are star-crossed lovers, and then there's The Space Between Us, coming out on February 3rd. This fascinating teen love story follows a boy born on Mars and the Earth girl he falls in love with. 16-year-old Gardner lives his entire life with only the 14 other people on the Red Planet, but finally gets a chance to visit Earth and connect with his pen pal, Tulsa. Of course, his visit doesn't go as planned when he realizes his body can't handle Earth's atmosphere, and he embarks on a whirlwind journey to try and figure out where he belongs in life and in the solar system. John Wick, Chapter 2 2014's surprise hit John Wick proved that Keanu Reeves was still able to kick butt and expectations are high that John Wick Chapter 2 can carry on the trend when it comes out on February 10th. The story follows Reeves Hitman as he's pulled out of retirement to help a former associate take over an assassin's guild. The supporting cast includes Common, Lawrence Fishburne, Ricardo Scamarchio, Ruby Rose, John Leguizamo, and Ian McShane. And the end result promises to be a bloody gritty thrill ride. I'll kill them all. Of course you will. If this one works out, the studio is already eyeballing a third film in the franchise. The Lego Batman Movie. Just... Go ahead when you're ready. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I've just been batmailing on my bat phone. Yeah, can you just do the line? Will Arnett's version of The Dark Knight was a breakout performance in the Lego movie, so Warner Brothers decided to spin him off into his own adventure. The early trailers have looked outrageously funny, and the family-friendly CGI tale promises to roll in a ton of players from across the Batman and DC universe to tell what could be one of the best Batman stories in years. If nothing else, it'll be unlike pretty much every other DC movie on the market. Superman is my greatest enemy. Superman's not a bad guy! Then I'd say that I don't currently have a bad guy. I am fighting a few different people. I like to fight around. If you're looking for a break from Zack Snyder's grim world, this should do it. Prepare for everything to be awesome again on February 10th. Fifty Shades Darker the second film in the Fifty Shades of Grey saga arrives on February 10th, which stars Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan, joined by Kim Basinger, Tyler Hecklin, and Hugh Dancy. The sequel picks up with Anna trying to move past her relationship with Christian, but since the franchise is far from over, you can probably guess they get back together, but this time under Anna's conditions. The critically panned original movie made a whole lot of money, so it'll be interesting to see what new director James Foley brings to E.L. James's bondage tale. Don't bring your mom. Or do, if you're weird. The Great Wall This fantasy action flick promises to be one of the biggest Chinese film productions in history, attracting A-list Hollywood talent including Matt Damon, Willem Dafoe, and Pedro Pascal. It's a period adventure about heroes fighting off giant monsters during the Song Dynasty, so historical accuracy doesn't really figure anywhere into this. Releasing on February 17th, early footage from this film looks like a white-knuckle thrill ride with a whole lot of monster-slaying action. Damon seems to be channeling his Jason Bourne persona a bit, but hey, who wouldn't want to see Jason Bourne slug it out with a giant monster? Fist Fight If you're a fan of HBO's cult hit Vice Principles, this should be right up your alley. This Ice Cube vehicle features the ride-along star pitted against It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia's Charlie Day as two teachers who are headed towards an old-fashioned parking lot brawl after one accidentally gets the other fired. Parking lot after school is on. Day is hilarious in pretty much anything, and the early trailers look like he'll be an excellent foil to Ice Cube's style of humor. Cut class to see this one on February 17th. A Cure for Wellness This psychological horror thriller from acclaimed director Gore Verbinski stars Dane DeHaan, Mia Goth, and Jason Isaacs. The story is about a young executive sent to retrieve his company's CEO at a wellness center, where it turns out the spa's healing techniques 
are a bit too good to be true. Before long, he comes down with a mystery illness that everyone at the spa wants to cure. It looks to be a twisty and terrifying tale, and it comes out February 17th. Get out. This racially charged horror film, scheduled for February 24th, was written and directed by comedian Jordan Peele, who's described the project as a horror movie with a satirical premise. The story follows a young African-American man who visits the family and estate of his white girlfriend. When many of the black people in the area start to vanish, the young man realizes this weekend visit is a lot more dangerous than just meeting the parents. Peele is no stranger to racially charged comedy horror, but this one seems a lot less funny than his previous efforts. Ain't that some these are some racist motherfucking zombies. Why would you even lock the door? I mean, the window's broken and... <gasps> oh! Oh, hell no. Rock Dog. This CGI tale of a dog from a small town looking to make it as a rock star has turned out to be a box office dud in its native China, but there's hope US audiences will come out to see Luke Wilson's anthropomorphic mutt chase his dream of being a rock star on February 24th. If trying to make it in music wasn't hard enough, Wilson's pup will also have to contend with the rogue wolf pack. Along with Wilson, the film also features the voices of Eddie Izzard, J.K. Simmons, Louis Black, Keenan Thompson, Mae Whitman, Jorge Garcia, and Matt Dillon. Collide. Kicking around development since 2013, Collide will make its American debut on February 24, 2017, after its German release in 2016. The story tracks a heist gone wrong, leaving a young man on the run from a dangerous mob boss, played by the imposing Anthony Hopkins. Then he turns to his old drug smuggling employer, played by Ben Kingsley, for help. All the while, he tries to protect his girlfriend, played by Rogue One's Felicity Jones. With Jones's star on the rise, it might just be enough to launch this troubled action flick to a bit more success than predicted. Thanks for watching. Click on the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.